Music and painting and uh, all of the other art forms, they also uh, are somewhat generally influenced by a desire to, for one to express uh, oneself. Do you feel that you were also driven by that desire to express yourself through the arts? Absolutely, yeah. It, it, it is something that most people who get into the arts, they're doing it out of a, a, a very strong desire to express themselves, to a, 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 cre a creativity that is inbuilt, you know, whether whether a person gets paid for it or not, or or whatever, it, it, it's you, you keep doing it, you know. I mean, if you talk to any artist today, um, particularly during the pandemic when the whole country and the whole world went into lockdown, people didn't just say, "Ah, oh, that's it. I'm not going to do any art now and do any painting or any music or whatever," uh, because you know, I'm not going to get paid for it or whatever. There's very few people like that that will stop. You know, you do it because you love it. And you probably even more so now, you you be more creative because, you know, you just, it's a need. It's, it, I don't think people have a choice nearly to go as far as to say that. People do it because it becomes part of like breathing or living and eating and walking. You know, it, it has to be done. So when you started painting again uh, as you said in your late 20s and so so on in those early years of just uh, you know really getting into it again uh, what do you what were the themes that interested you and that influenced you yeah I, I've always had a interest in figurative art um, and I also very much interested in kind of pop pop art and graphic novels and manga magazines you know the the, the japanese manga cartoons so I, I always i always i suppose that goes back to the younger days when when i used to love the, the cartoons and the newspapers and uh, copying those i just liked the whole um the figures like you know and little storylines going on in them so then you know, you'd look at people like Norman Rockwell, you know, in America. I just loved his art. Or uh, uh, Jack Vetriano, the um, Scottish-Italian artist. Um, there's always a story going on in, in the paintings. And quite often humor as well. And then when you look at somebody like Burl Cook, she was a, a wonderful British artist. She only took up painting in her 50s, I think, you know, and she had, she used to paint these voluptuous fat women, you know, and they'd be out partying or, you know, having great fun. And there's a kind of co comedy, but observations of life. And I, I always liked that type of storyline. So for me, um, I, I, I wasn't interested in painting a landscape or, or you know, the sea or, or the beautiful sunset or it wasn't really for me. I, I kind of felt there's a lot of, you know, I see that all the outside and I can see it in a lot of people's art. I wanted to kind of create my own little stories going on. And um, yeah, it, it, it kind of, um, that was my, my uh, inspiration, just looking at, at everyday life. So a lot of my art would feature storylines like cafe and bar scenes and musicians. And um, yeah, just people out and about and people observing people, you know, uh, um that that sort of thing so so that was my 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 themes i love to work on and i also loved the bright colors the um vibrant colors and that to me i said you know to use the colors with those themes just kind of gives gives us uh even more uh the, the storyline even more vibrancy 